How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week we got a special guest. Maybe you've seen some of his videos. Maybe you already subscribed to his channel. But if you haven't, go ahead and go subscribe. He has a lot of great videos, great content, a lot of information. So I'ma let him introduce. I'ma let I'ma let him introduce. I'ma let him introduce himself. So what is up, everybody? My name is Justin, and I am the creator of Just Think. It's a YouTube channel where we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related, and I kind of bring you along on my journey towards getting a full bodysuit. As you guys can see, I have some amazing work done and I plan to have a full body done of this kind of caliber work. And uh, you know, this journey with uh, this whole channel has been amazing. It started out obviously as me just, you know, showing the world my amazing work, what you can do with tattoos and what, you know, the kind of uh, destroy that misconception tattoos once had and how they can actually be a work of art now. But as this channel has went on, it's become more in terms of helping other people out, you know, sharing my kind of experience, opinions and certain things, you know, in terms of aftercare or some other type of thing with somebody that's new to this. But most importantly, now it's become is some type of motivational and inspirational kind of aspect to a lot of people out there, because I know I get a lot of people messaging me saying how much I've, you know, inspired them or motivated them to go get their first tattoo or rekindle that flame that they once had to start their journey again. So that means the world to me. And that's what this channel now has mostly become about. It's still about, you know, the tattoos and the journey towards getting that full bodysuit and that angle. But now it's become so much more. And I'm so happy to be here on this video to talk to you about from like a canvas's perspective. So the purpose of this video is that I'm going to be asking some questions and he's going to answer it from a client's perspective. As an artist, sometimes we forget what it feels like to be a client. So this is a great way to reconnect with the client and understand what they're feeling and understand what they're thinking. And if you're thinking about getting your first tattoo, this is the video for you. So with that being said, the first question is going to be, if you're thinking about getting your first tattoo, what should you expect and how to prepare? Now, this is a great first question just because a lot of us going to get our first tattoo, we have a lot of feelings and mixed emotions. We feel scared, we feel nervous, we feel excited. We feel like maybe we shouldn't go through with it. Now, I've been getting tattoos for my whole life so far and I still feel all those when I go and get my next one. So they're totally normal to feel. But in terms of how you prepare yourself in terms of going for your next tattoo or your first tattoo is first off, go ahead and watch a lot of the videos that I post. I talk a lot about, you know, the pain of certain areas, how to prepare and pack for a tattoo and the kind of mental state you should kind of put yourself in before going into one. Now, what I also like to do is I like to moisturize that area. Say if I'm getting on the bicep forearm or anywhere on the leg, I like to make sure that area is moisturized about a week before going into getting that tattoo. No artist wants to work with dry, cracked, wrinkly, or any kind of skin like that. They want to work with the best kind of skin that they can have. So I like to make sure that it is like in its best condition for when I go to the appointment. Now, what I also like to do, and this is kind of not recommended, but this is what I do is I make sure that I shave that area before going. I like to go the night before, just shave it with an electric razor where there's still a little bit of hair left over. So it's not causing any razor burn or irritation just because it makes his life a little easier in terms of shaving that area with that kind of shitty razor that they all have. It's like a one bladed razor and just barely gets any hair. And I'm a hairy guy, so I just like to make it kind of the appointment a little easier for the artist in terms of that kind of process and taking the hair off. Leading up to the appointment, the night before the day of, you definitely want to make sure you are getting a good night's rest before the tattoo. And then depending on what time your tattoo is during the day, if it's in the morning or afternoon, you want to get a good meal in you just because you want to make sure that you are, you know, you're well replenished. You got all those kind of sugars in you, carbohydrates, got your energy going. It just helps in terms of a long run, especially for a longer tattoo. You just want your body to have all those nutrients in it. So the next question that I have for you is you got your first tattoo, you got some instructions from your artist uh, about how to take care of your tattoo, you got some information already. So now you go home, but you're still a little bit confused and a little bit concerned about um, the process of how to take care of a tattoo and what to expect. How would you explain it to someone that's still feeling confused? So the healing process of a tattoo can be a bitch and it can be very confusing. Now I say this just because every artist has their own little way of healing a tattoo. If you ask one artist, this is how they're gonna heal it one way. Ask that artist, this is how they're gonna do it. Some offer literally totally different kind of variations. You go and you watch my videos, I'm gonna say how to do it this way. You go watch somebody else's video, they're gonna say how to do it that way. So there's really no good answer to this type of question. Now what I do and how I feel my tattoos heal, they've healed great doing these methods and I'm gonna let you know how I do that. Now I go ahead and I wash my tattoos three times a day for the first day up to about day four, day five until it starts flaking. Now I make sure to wash it with unscented soap and then I usually apply some type of healing ointment after that when it's dried. 
and then after about the day four or five mark when it starts to flake i switch to about washing it once or twice a day about morning and afternoon or night and then i also now apply moisturizer and what i like to do with moisturizer is some people say and what i've said before is to do it once or twice a day i like to go by ear now and kind of go by sight in terms of how am i feeling about the tattoo if it's really cracked if it's feel really dry it's feel really itchy and then I go ahead and apply it. I don't really go on a number anymore. I go on the fact on how my body is feeling and that's how you should too. But there have also been other things now that have come into play in terms of healing for a tattoo. Now I've used a lot of Saniderm in my tattoos and they heal the tattoo great. There are some limitations to them in certain areas, but what I feel it does for in terms of the whole aftercare of a tattoo, it just makes it so much easier. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. You pretty much just slap it on and then you wait seven days and then you take it off and then you're pretty much done most of the healing. You take a week out of that kind of healing stage and it works great. It just takes a lot of that worry out and usually it heals the tattoo better than the traditional method. Now the pet peeves that I have in terms of the aftercare, there's quite a bit. And that is one, you're not allowed to go in the shower for long periods of time because of the steam and because your pores might open. You're not allowed to go swimming because of the same reason, ink might seep out. You're not allowed to be in the sun because that area is super sensitive. So you're gonna be kind of, uh, you're gonna be out of the sun for quite a bit of time after a new tattoo, it's gonna hurt. You can't go, you can't really play sports. You really gotta watch out. You can't go ahead and rub up against something because you might scratch it, you might scar it. So there's a lot of things that you gotta watch out for. Not to mention the swelling that comes along with it in the first couple of days and the pain afterwards. So there's a lot in terms of healing of an aftercare of the tattoo, but it is crucial and it is the most important part of the tattoo. Like I always tell my clients, that tattoo is not done until it's fully healed. Because you spend so much money on your tattoo and for you not to take care of it, it's kind of like a waste of money almost, you know what I mean? The more tattoos you get, the better you understand your skin and what's the best thing for you. I get a lot of requests from clients that are looking to book a two days back to back so they can start a huge project. Now, from your perspective as a client and from somebody who got tattooed for 26 hours straight, can you explain what are the pros and cons about getting tattooed for a long period of time? Now, the pros and cons to getting a long tattoo are kind of balanced. Now, I am nothing new to kind of getting a long tattoo. I've gotten anywhere from like six hours all the way up to sitting up to 16 hours in one session. So I kind of know how to get through a long session and I know the pros and cons to each. Now, the pros are one, you're just getting it done in one shot. You don't really have to go back and get it done again. You don't have to waste time traveling and you're not wasting the artist's time in terms of also equipment as well, getting more needles. So there's a pro in that term of that in terms of just getting it banging out in one shot. The next one is the confidence that you get from doing a long tattoo. I know a lot of people out there doing like a six hour plus tattoo. They feel better about themselves, especially if you were somebody that thought you couldn't do it before. So doing these long tattoo sessions really helps out. Me now, my confidence is through the roof knowing that I was able to do a 16 hour session and get through that and still think I could have done longer. So I've really kind of, you know, upped my confidence and now I believe I can definitely get through it more and more and more dealing with more and more pain. Now the cons are obviously pain. As time goes on, pain's gonna increase. So you're gonna feel a lot more pain through a long session compared to a short session. And then the last one I really have to this all is that you're gonna feel uncomfortable in the positions that you sit. If you're sitting on your ass, it's gonna go numb. If you're sitting on your side, it's gonna be super painful. And the one tip I have to all that is bring a pillow. That is one that I feel is something that I always bring now to a session just because it helps so much in terms of you know relieving some of that pain on certain areas of the body and with the positions that you kind of uh, lay in or sit in. I think this is a really important question to ask and uh, I'm curious to see how you're going to answer this. I really like the way I wrote the question down on my notes, so I'm already off my notes and it says, as a client, what do you want as artists to know or consider to make the client feel more comfortable and make their experience better? And I'm curious to know from a client perspective because uh, we, I don't think we ask that question very often. So I feel like this is going to uh, help a lot of artists out there and kind of uh, have a better understanding about how our clients feel and what they want. Now this is a great question just because I feel I do have a couple tips to the artists out there in terms of making for an overall better experience of a tattoo session to make your client and your canvas feel more comfortable. The first one I got is really try to seem excited, show some happiness, show some enthusiasm about the piece that you're gonna do on them. Even if it's a piece that you've done maybe 20 times already before and you're maybe not as excited to do it anymore, just try to show some of that excitement just because we read and we can get a vibe off you right away on terms of if you, if you want to do this piece or not. And if it feels like you want to do this piece and you're excited for this piece, 
One, it's gonna make for a better session overall because we're not gonna be overthinking about it on ourselves. But two, it's gonna make for a better tattoo in the end because we're gonna just love it even more knowing that you loved it too. There's no better feeling when we finish a tattoo and when I've seen a tattoo done and that artist is just in love with it. He's happy and he's super excited about it. There's no better feeling than that and just makes for a better tattoo in the overall kind of experience of it. The next one I have for you guys is make sure to kind of, you know, reassure the customer that it's going to be okay, that this is normal, the pain's normal, and everything you're experiencing is going to be okay. The last one I got for you guys is, you know, try to be on time for your appointments. I've seen too many times where I'll be in the shop and a customer is literally waiting 20, 30, 40 minutes for their artist to show up and they're nowhere to be found. And I feel like this is just a sign of respect because we, the clients, are showing you respect by being on time for the, the, the appointment and you should do the same. I know you're an artist. I know we, you, you kind of have all the power in your hands, but please try to show up on time just to show us the same respect that we show you. It just makes us feel a little bit better and again, an, a better overall session and a better overall tattoo experience. Thank you for answering that question. Honestly, it feels really good to be able to hear your point of view as a client uh, because I feel like we don't ask that question a lot. And as an artist, we gotta be more considerate about what our clients feel and what they think. At the end of the day, they're also paying for the service. So the next question that I have, it's pretty simple. What made you wanna get tattooed? Do they have a meaning or do you just love art? Now this is probably my favorite question out of all and that is, you know, tattoos for me, I've always wanted tattoos. Ever since I could ever remember, I was always looking at tattoos. I was always saving tattoos, saving those ideas because I would want them down in the future. Now, the reason why I really want to get tattoos is just because it's such a great form of expressing oneself in terms of art, in terms of stuff on you. You can say so much without saying anything to somebody with the type of tattoos that you have. Now, in terms of meaning and then the art kind of balance, it kind of uh, started out with more meaning when getting my tattoos. I got them to kind of commemorate family members that have passed away or you know other things in my life or just like you know my beliefs but as time went on the tattoos that I start to get start to become less and less about the meaning and more and more about the art now I'm strictly in it for the art for the art purposes of these kind of wow factors these wow pieces but they still do hold some type of meaning a little way and those aren't like you know like kind of religious meaning meanings or anything like that it's just more like what i kind of like because i do feel like you have to get a tattoo to have some type of meaning because it needs to be on you right so you got to have some type of like you know i like it for some reason or i got it for this type of reason but if you were to ask me now i definitely am getting tattoos more for the artistic side of it and just the wow factor of it and just you know the form of expressing one and having this type of art on my body that i can walk around for the rest of my life with it is such an amazing feeling to have work on you that is really good and of high quality like yours the ones that you do and the cover-ups that you do and it's just you know it's something that you just feel more confident about yourself and you can walk with your head a little bit higher as a client you have the idea you know what you want to get and you know the placement now the question is how do you look for the right artist now searching for the right artist is probably the biggest part of any tattoo i always say that this is the part that either make or break your tattoo right off the start and i say that just because every artist is going to have a specific style and a specific kind of like look that they have to them and you're going to want to find somebody that kind of fits that look and style that you want now finding an artist for the right job i say is like finding a diamond in the rubble you really got to look for one and you really got to be patient now i have videos out there where i talk about how to go ahead and find an artist that way I do it. And I also have a video out there that kind of has people that just go ahead and comment their artists from their area and the style that they do. And that can definitely help you out in terms of finding it. But what I found is, you know, today's time and age, you got the internet, you got Instagram, they are gonna be your biggest help. You can go ahead and search on the internet, a shop near you, and it'll have a list of their kind of artists that they have, and you can go ahead and look them up doing that way. Or what I like to do is Instagram is probably your best bet. You go ahead and you find somebody that you like. You can follow a lot of tattoo pages. They'll have the tattoo artist link. But then when you find an artist that you like, go ahead and go into their following and then see who they follow. Because a lot of artists will follow artists of the same kind of caliber and the same kind of style that they do. And you'll be able to go through all of them. Now, this is something that you got to be patient about and going through every single one but you might get lucky and you might find somebody that is around or nearly near you and you can go about in terms of asking them to get a tattoo done. That's a great trick that I've used and it works great. This is a great video. I honestly feel like it's such a, an amazing video and to share so much knowledge and you sharing your knowledge with everybody out there, I think is gonna help a lot of people. And I appreciate you for 
wanting to be in this channel and thank you for having me in your video as well so if you want to go ahead and check that video out i give my opinion from an artist's perspective so thank you for having me in your channel and thank you for joining me in this channel and i hope to make more videos with you now i just want to say thank you so much for having me this means so much to me in terms of be on your channel and i really hope that i'm able to help kind of you know inform some other artists out there that maybe have been wondering from a client's perspective but i'm also hoping that i can help other clients out there and canvases out there in terms of you know some of the stuff that i was able to resonate with and maybe help you out go to my channel and check out all the stuff i have i really try to talk from a client's perspective but i also always try to think about the artist as well so it's kind of like you know a middle ground for everybody but thank you so much for having me on the channel i really appreciate it and i hope to be back very soon and this is the end of this video but stay tuned because next week is going to be insane the video that i'm dropping it is going to be crazy i'm going to post a little sneak peek and close this video so if you're a tattoo artist i hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast i hope you were entertained thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week peace my client is coming in she's getting her first tattoo and what we're gonna be doing she's getting a full outer sleeve uh i'm really nervous but i'm excited